Well, hello there. Welcome to the second webisode of Insulation Station. You know, I promised that we'd be talking today about the return on investment that you can gain your money back much quicker with a solar array for your home or even small business if you drive electric cars. But just the other day, France announced 1,000 kilometers of a solar roadway. And I wanted to take a second to talk about that because it's a very, very bad idea. Long before we get to solar roadways, we need to make sure that all of the available roof surfaces on every home, business, church, school, municipal building, you name it, uh, is covered that can be. Um, and then we'll start worrying about solar roads. But for the time being, solar roads are a bad idea. Setting aside the engineering concerns, I got to tell you, I've washed my solar panels on the roof of my house maybe three times since they've been installed over two years. And most people will say you don't even need to do that. Most people will say the rain will just take care of everything. I've found that where I live, for whatever reason, lots of birds, so bird poop can accumulate on the panels. I get up there every once in a while and make sure the bird poop gets removed. Now let's take a look and see what you can expect to accumulate on the ground if uh, you've got a pathway. This is pretty similar to what happens to rooftop solar or ground mounted solar except the ground mounted solar or rooftop solar typically has the advantage of having some sort of pitch to it to let some of this debris roll off. Now on a road you've got tires and tires it turns out are extremely dirty and what happens to a solar roadway with a bunch of dirt on it? Exactly. That's the story. Uh, solar roads bad, solar panels good. Uh, with respect to the engineering concerns with solar roads, I gotta tell you, you know, solar panels that are made for rooftop arrays or ground mounted solar systems have relatively high durability. They can withstand golf ball size hail at terminal velocity. I believe the standard is something like, you know, 25 millimeter, something like that, hail at, uh, at free fall. So, um, solar panels aren't exactly delicate, but it's one thing to talk about solar panels that can withstand hail, and it's a completely different thing to talk about solar panels that uh, are being ridden on by bicycles or by cars or by trucks. So I apologize, I know I told you we'd be talking about return on investment and how electric cars can rapidly increase the time horizon for your return on investment when you purchase solar for your home or small business. I promise you that's coming, I've actually already got it recorded. Um, but for now I just wanted to focus on solar freaking roadways and uh, you know the best solar roadway in the world would be the 405 in Los Angeles because that would produce exactly no energy since it's always covered in cars. All right. Thank you. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Sunshine.